A blessed day and welcome. This morning we will be meditating on the book of Proverbs, chapter 1 and verse 5. Let the wise hear and increase in learning, and the one who understands obtain guidance. This morning we learn two important stages of wise counsel. The first is to hear, and the second is to increase in learning. Dear ones, this morning, as we ponder on the first step, hearing, we see that only hearing here refers to a response. We hear many things on a daily basis, but how many things do we put into practice? How many times do we pay attention to what is being heard? In reality, only what grabs our attention receives our response. Psalm 62 verse 11 says, One thing God has spoken, two things I have heard. Can you see the importance on hearing here? What God spoke once, the psalmist had to pay attention twice over to understand what God said. The second stage is increasing in learning. Unless a person responds to God's word, he will not engage in developing himself. Developing is very important not only to growth but also to share what has been learned. One of the main reasons a person needs to live wisely is because the person must also be able to guide the next generation in what they have been instructed. How many of us have taken time to invest in the talent God has deposited within us? Our lives have been wired in a way that we need to improve periodically so that we will not be bored. Life with Jesus is always exciting and I believe that only when we are complete in learning the Lord will take us home. No one can ever claim to know everything. For those who have earned their experience at great cost as Solomon did, this is a very heartfelt request. Especially when dealing with our own children. We desperately want them to be sure that they don't make the same mistakes we did. In no uncertain terms, we beg them to pay attention to our advice, which is based on hard experience. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, help me to hear well and continue to increase in learning. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Shalom Maranatha.